Okay, now we'd like to give you an explanation here of how to get around uh, the software on the screen. Okay, first we're going to go to laser mode. If I touch on laser mode, you'll see four options. Most of what you do will be drawn in lines. Arcs, as we explained earlier, three points makes an arc. Uh, circle, there's two options here on circle where we can do either a three point or a one point. Uh, and next would be crosses, which is simply a cross, uh, one point on the screen. Here we use erase for taking out any particular thing. Distance uh, can be used for capturing any two points and getting a distance. Auto fill it is what we used earlier when we captured all these sides and two points only and it closed the corner. Fill it, there's quite a few options here, whereas you can uh, put in your own radius champ for a sharp corner and or pick a pre-selected one. Offset, same thing. You can use presets that you have and or put in a specific uh, offset that you would like. And in some cases, you might want to remove the old one. Rotate, basically rotates the drawing to the edge that you hit. Extend, takes a line that's already there. You hit the back line and this one and it draws it to that. Segment, you can either draw a segment between two points, let's say from here to there, or you can erase uh, a portion of a segment it could be either either half the line or a piece of line, anything. Dimensions gives you all dimensions on there, except for radiuses. Color allows you to change color, change whether it's visible, change if it's a seam, change the amount of dollars per linear foot. Uh, we can pick new colors uh, from a whole palette here or uh, we can revise colors, select colors, or cancel them. And defaults, too. Drop-in. This allows you to pick a drop-in uh, and, and, and send it to any given um, snap point. And quick actions. This is a little bar here that's really handy. You would be able to edit this to all the things you do. For example, this is in inches, and people in other countries might want to use millimeters, whatever. All your favorite radiuses, your favorite offsets, and things, even some text items you can put in here. Undo and redo. Uh, you have quite a few options on undo, like I just got rid of that little outlet there, or I, you know what, I want to bring it back, so now I hit redo. So you can either undo or redo. Now we're going to explain the taskbar on the bottom. We have file, where we have, this is where you would open a file, look at a new, start a new file, import, export, save, save as, and connect to the laser. On edit, we have all sorts of options there, job information, move circles, split a line, flip scale, add a photograph, erase everything on a page, erase just one little piece, split an object on a point, and change units from, let's say, metric to standard. And in view, Here's where we rotate the drawing beyond what this rotates it for. And uh, mirror, which means flip it around. Uh, check a circle diameter, display some measured points everywhere we hit the laser and where the laser was standing. Uh, display contiguous breaks, which means any breaks in the lines that would cause your CNC to stop. Uh, display polylines, which means it's completely connected all the way around. Uh, display the color names, and uh, which would put it along the edge so the color blind can read it and display the area legend, which is actually over here, tells the, the user how many square feet, how many linear feet of each color, and what the, uh, the whole area would be if you cut one big rectangle. Now we move to the draw menu. In draw menu, we have reposition, where we move the laser from one spot to another. Uh, offset, define zero, zero for making a drop in. Slab layout, where we move pieces around to see if they fit on a slab. Backsplash. Uh, this is where we add a backsplash, very simply. Angle, this is where you can draw an angle in the corner to see if it's 90 or 91 or whatever. Uh, radius, it'll define what the radius is that you drew, just drew. Dimensions, this is where you can draw a dimension and leave it on the screen for somebody to see later. 
maximum dimension if you had like an oval and you wanted to know how big it was in a rectangle or a square uh, text this is where you would add things like the top of the of the uh, the countertop or uh, pay attention to this or whatever you want to put in there center line is just another way of uh, determining where you want to put the sink center and this is where you would draw uh, without the aid of the laser a line an arc a circle a bump out a cross or a box but mainly here is where we would modify the drawing with some exceptions and over here is where we would shoot it Next, we have laser on, which turns the laser on, start a new line, so we don't have a drag over from the previous line. Laser off if it's on and you want to turn it off. Zoom, there's actually three zooms here. One is just the plus thing to, and, and the minus. To, and then the other one, if you touch this and go across angularly on a corner, you'll see the very close up view of that. Best fit is what brings you back to the original drawing scaled in that screen. Up on the top, we have pages. You can see here, I have drawn something on page one and on page two. You could start a new page, which it asks you to if it's blank or if you're copying an existing page, and then you can move on from there. Notice how we use the English language to explain our functions. Um, very simply, we can change to up to 13 or 14 languages, and then all of these functions here will be in the language of your choice. We will start templating using the most common features, and some of you you've seen already, and then as we progress, we will use more of the specific or, or advanced feet. Also, whenever you pick a function, you'll notice that at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little bar that explains. In the case of offset, it says click on the line you wish to offset, then click the direction of the line. So if I clicked here and clicked to the direction, it would then move to that side. Or click here and move to this side, it moves to that side. Always on the bottom is an explanation. So if you forget how to do something, it, if I were to ask to rotate, it explains, click on a line to orient the drawing. 